Hey guys, this is the shotgun tutorial. Now, I kind of want to clarify something. Um, I don't know why you guys kept accusing me that I stole this trick from Andy Feel Magic, which I really don't understand. It's like I'm not allowed to perform the tricks that he teaches us, which I really don't get. And second of all, I didn't even know that he knew this tricks because I don't cruise through his videos, you know? So just kind of give me a break, you guys. I don't know why you guys keep accusing me of every trick that I do from somebody else. Like, I don't know why that's a crime, apparently. Anyway, so, um, sorry, Andy Feel Magic, if I stole your thunder, if if I did, I don't know. Um, also, thank you for that shout out a while back ago. That was nice of you. Um, so, if you guys want a tutorial, you can pretty much watch it on his channel. I don't know why you guys keep begging me to do it, but I guess I'll teach you really quick, anyways. So, what you're gonna want is an ace, and you're gonna mention in the beginning of the trick that an ace in poker is a bullet. So, if you have a bullet, you're gonna need a gun. So, your deck of cards is gonna be your gun. Now what you're going to do is, as you make your gun, you're going to split it evenly in Pharaoh Shuffle. Nice and even. Just like that. Make it even. Okay. So you want your cards even on both sides so no cards slip out in the middle or on the outside. So uh, you're going to hold it like this and you're going to riffle through the pack. Then they're going to say stop and that's going to be their selected card. But the this is the important part of the trick. Once they call stop and they select a card, you're going to pull back and uh, hold a pinky break right where they stopped and then you can continue riffling. So then you have to keep holding the pinky break where they called stop. And um, you know, you can kind of do it like this. Uh, say stop and then as they say stop you can name the card. Oh, five of hearts, that's a good selection. And then as you say that, you can have that nice time of a pause to do the uh, pinky break. So you want to make it look casual. Don't make it look too uh, sloppy or anything. So it's really easy once you get the hang of it. So nine of hearts. And then once you hold the uh, pinky break, you don't want to make your grip too tight because you need the ability to turn the pack into a gun formation. So remember, you're still holding that pinky break, okay? And then you say you're going to take your bullet and you're going to place it into the gun. But uh, don't show it like this, because that's really visible. So just try to turn this to the side, I guess, or to the front. And just say that you're going to stick your bullet, or whatever, your ace, into the pinky break. Once that happens, you can totally let go. Now, be careful. Once you're about to hit the card to make the card shoot out, like uh, the gun, um, you don't want to hit it in a different angle, because then it'll smash and bend your card. So I've done that before. That's why I used a crappy deck in my performance. Anyways, so um, you want to hit it like completely like vertically, you know, like totally straight uh, against the card. So uh, you just kind of hit it straight. That was kind of a fail. And then it goes to their selected card, like the nine of hearts where I stopped at earlier. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, just be careful to not smash up your nice card. Um, it's a really cool, effective trick, and it's really, really simple. So I hope you guys have a, a good time doing this trick. So see you guys later.